Hello everyone, welcome to WePotep Academy. So this is Pavan again. So uh, in this tutorial, we'll be uh, creating a brand new Flutter app for our uh, PHP project, all right? And then uh, we will design the app and connect it directly from the admin panel, which we have designed in our, uh, in our, in our PHP project. All right, so let's get started. So at first, what I should do, uh, I should set the screen, obviously. Otherwise, you won't be able to see, see anything. Okay, and let me uh, open my terminal. And uh, in the last video, uh, we have created a Flutter application inside PHP, uh, Flutter underscore PHP folder. All right, so in this tutorial too, we'll be creating one more application here in this location. So uh, at first, let me uh, go to this location, CD, and uh, I have selected the path in this way. And now we will create the Flutter application, all right? So now let me go to flutter.dev and I will click on get started. And let's try, write your first app. All right, I think uh, I should click on test drive. And as, as of now, I'm using terminal, all right? So uh, I will be creating the app using this command. So Flutter create uh, the app name. All right, so F-L-U-T-T-E-R Flutter, create uh, uh, e-commerce. Yeah, just uh, just, just uh, give the name as e-commerce app, e-commerce underscore app. And it will take some time. And yeah, the app has been created. All right, so let me go to this folder and I can see the app has now been created in this folder, all right. So now let me open my Android Studio as I'm using Android Studio for developing the Flutter application. Okay. And now I should select this folder. I should import this, import this code. So open. And now I will click on desktop, Flutter. Then I should click on Flutter PHP. And this is the app which we have just created. Just let me open this app okay and now i will click on this emulator so that we can also start the emulator as we have to test the app in our computer so i'm opening up the emulator here all right so let me click on float View mode as float. Okay, the emulator has been started. And let me click on the project structure here. And let me click on project. And I can see the folders for iOS, Android, Linux, Mac OS, web has been created. So at first, I will delete the test folder. This folder is no longer required for now. Delete. And I will click on this start button or run button. It may take some time since I am uh, I have just created the app. But if I run the app uh, at least once in the simulator, after that, it won't be taking so much of time. All right, so I'm just waiting for the app to get started. Mm -hmm. So if you have uh, not watched the last video, how can we create a simple Flutter application? We have discussed a bit about the file structure of Flutter, and we have also discussed a bit about the home page or the main dot dart file about this file so you can just go go to the playlist and watch the uh, video so that you can have some uh, basic idea how flutter works okay so i think uh, my app has now been started and installed on my uh, virtual device or virtual uh, uh, this part, uh, this virtual mobile. So I can see the name is Flutter Demo Homepage. Instead of uh, the name, 
instead of this name let me rename it to something else like uh, let me go to the main dot dart file and then i will change the name as e-commerce yeah let me change the name to a m a j w n amazon okay and let me save the code and let's watch i'll be able to see the name here all right so now uh, I will have to create some pages on this app or maybe some screens on this app. So at first, I will uh, I, I should click on I should right click on the lib directory and create one directory here. Okay, but I am not able to see the option of creating a directory here. All right, I should create a folder. All right. So what I have to do, I have to go to a mark directory s and I should click on this uh, button unmark as sources root okay now i will be right clicking on this folder and i'm now able to see the directory option uh, in this uh, location and now i will create one new directory called home all right so i have created a home folder and inside home i will be creating one more file or one more dart file uh, and the name of this dart file will be home.dart all right and now I will simply route. Okay, so at first, uh, let me uh, write something uh, stateful. So, uh, okay, let me explain it to you. STFUL, which means now we will be using a stateful widget in this uh, screen. And let me click enter. All right. And now I'm able to see uh, some codes which have been written in this. Uh, in the screen and in this location i'll be writing as home and here uh, on the stateful widget i'll be right clicking on it okay but unfortunately uh, all right so uh, while i am uh, uh, i'm hovering my uh, my mouse uh, in this uh, word called stateful widget i'm now able to see uh, something like uh, classes can only be extend other classes, all right? And there's a documentation which you can uh, use or which you can see to get more details about it. But simply, I'll be clicking on import library and the name of the package is package flutter uh, cupertino dot all right? Let me click enter. And now I'm able to see all the errors have been gone, all right? So this is now completed. Now I will be saving this file. And now I will go to main.dart and what I will do, I will simply go to this home here. I will remove the codes and I will write home in this way. And now I will have to import this file, right? Once I imported the file, I can see import home and oblique home yeah, forward slash home.dart. This file have been imported here and now the main uh, main dot dart file is redirecting any user or is redirecting me to the home dot dart file. All right. So uh, constant placeholder instead of the placeholder, I'll be using something called uh, scaffold. Or let's write something as text data instead of data. Let me. Welcome to my first app. Okay. And now I am able to see some errors. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Welcome to my first app. And now here I'm able to see, welcome to my first step. This message has been displayed here. All right. So we have successfully routed the user from main.dart file to home.dart file. Now we will have to design the home.dart file. So in the next video, we'll be designing the home page or the product page of this application.